from a photographer's perspective and a creative person's perspective is I'm very proud of this body of work. But I'm also conflicted about that, that, that emotion. It's on the back of you know, somebody else's misfortune. This is ordinary people in extreme conditions. And constantly asking yourself the questions so your moral compass finds its, its equilibrium. Are you doing the right thing? Are you doing more harm being there? Or are you doing no harm being there? Experiences pulled down into one tiny little grain like an hourglass down into one tiny little thread and that's when you decide when you're going to press the button or not. And it's, you can't think about it. But you do constantly. That portrait of her, I sat on that for six months. Didn't release it. And I just, I wanted to be sure that I wasn't going to cause more scarring, more damage, more pain. And she said, look, Patrick, I'm, I may be illiterate. I may, uh, I know there's a world out there that's bigger than this camp. I know there's, a, there's places out there that I will never see. But I did nothing wrong. Why should I hide? And I think... When she said that, I realized that this is probably the only justice that she'll probably see. But how do you tell that arc? How do you tell that story? There it is. Yeah, there was a lot of images there that could have been used, but it's all about producing an image that has to be used. But I didn't go there to, to win an award or get this accolades. I went there to tell a story. Um, and I went there to tell the truth. I think I've fulfilled what I set out to do. Proud, yes. Ashamed, no. Shocked, yes. Humbled, yes. <laughs>